Ready to uncover how you can create a faceless YouTube channel that actually makes money with AI? Literally, there are people easily making $10,000 plus each month with these simple short form videos. Ha ha ha, at least they were making money until, can you guess? The whole niche got completely saturated. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you a recap. Basically, three months ago, I uploaded a video showing how you can create 500 YouTube shorts in under 10 minutes, and it actually blew up. The niche I used in the video was called Deep Facts. I personally made a good amount of money with it, just like thousands of others, until, let me say it again, it got saturated. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been cooking something big. After many failed attempts, I finally found a niche that still works today, and I've tested it personally. With this niche, I assure you that you'll get thousands of views and subscribers on every single video. And do you know what's even crazier? I'll show you how you can make 100 monetizable videos in just under 14 minutes. The niche that I'm talking about is called the Riddle Niche. The video you just watched? I created 100 of those in just five minutes. While others are struggling to make videos, I'll be posting five of these every day without even breaking a sweat. But also, I'm going to share the method with you. So don't worry. In this video, I'll explain exactly how you can do the same. Make sure to watch until the end because I'll also show you how to get more views on your videos and how to monetize them completely for free. We'll start with ChatGPT because it's definitely our best friend here. Now we'll use it to generate a full script formatted in columns that we'll use for our videos. You can find the exact script I'm using in the description below. You just need to click generate and as easy as that, our script is ready. Once we've created the script, the tool that will help us utilize it is Canva. You can even get Canva Pro for free by signing up for a one month free trial and canceling it right away. This way you won't spend a single penny. Now what you need to do is open the mobile video template. First, we need to find a good looking background. To do that, open elements and search for spiral background. Now choose the background you like and click on it. This one looks great, so we will use it. As you can see, we need to adjust it to fill the screen. Just drag it from the corners to make it fit. So let's do that quickly. Next, make sure to adjust the video length to eight seconds, as that's the ideal length for this niche. Next, we need to create a shape. You can do this by simply clicking on C. Now click on the shape button. The first shape we need is the rectangle and we will set the shape color to blue. Drag the shape to the top of the screen and extend it to cover from one side to the other. Try to match the size of the shape I'm using. To make it look nicer, we'll add borders. Simply click on the shape and open the border menu. Set the border thickness to 40. Now open the border color menu and set the border color to white. Next, we need to create a new shape. Do this by clicking C, open the shape menu, and select this shape right here. Extend the size of the shape by copying what I'm doing here. It's pretty easy. Now we will add borders to this shape, but we will set the border thickness to 20 for this one. And for the color, we will do the same. So we will set it to white. The text box will be too small for our answers. So let's resize it a little bit. Now it's perfect. Now here's what you need to do. Simply click on the shape and copy it. Now paste it three times so you have a total of four boxes. Once you've done that, we need to position the boxes correctly. Drag each box and align it perfectly, stacking them one on top of the other. Make sure to leave a little free space at the top since we will need it afterwards. Now, let's add the text. Click on the text menu on the left side and then click add a heading. Next, let's change the font of the text. Click on the fonts section at the top where you'll find hundreds of options. I like how Fredoka looks like, so I'm gonna use that one. To make it look nicer, I'll set the text color to yellow using the color picker found at the top in the menus. To take it to the next level, open the effects menu and find the outline effect. Click on it, then set the effect color to black. Finally, set the effect thickness to 70 to add a nice touch to the text. Once the text is ready, copy and paste it multiple times to create a total of four answer text sections and one question section at the top. This part is pretty simple. Now let's paste the text from ChatGPT into our video. Open ChatGPT and copy the question from the first row of our script. Then return to Canva and paste it into the question section. We need to set the font size to 80 for all of our text to avoid any overlap issues later. I'll adjust this for each text section. 
Once you're done, return to ChatGPT and copy the answers in order. We'll copy and paste the answers one by one to ensure everything is in its correct place. The answers should be pasted in order from A to D, so make sure to follow that sequence. I'm doing the same, so just copy what I'm doing and you'll be good to go. Now pay close attention because this is very important. You need to drag the text box from one side to the other to extend it. If you don't, the text might overlap the boxes when you generate the videos in bulk, and it won't look nice. So make sure to do this for each text section. Once we are done to separate the question from the answers, I'll set the question text color to red. Now make sure to select both the text and the boxes. Once you've done that, click on the group button on the right side. Next, click on the three dots and then select show timing. You'll see a new section appear in the editing bar. Set the length of that section to six seconds by dragging it to the left. Now let's add a video related to the question. Open the elements menu, and since our question is about France, type France into the search bar. Then go to the video section, and for example, this one. It looks perfect, so I'll use it. I'll resize and center the video so it blends perfectly with our entire project. Also, make sure to set the video length to 8 seconds in the editing bar. Now, let's add a countdown video to give our project a nice touch. Open the elements menu again and search for countdown. This one fits perfectly, so I'll use it. To adjust it, open the crop menu and select the option labeled one by one. Now I'll scale it down and position it by the flag so it looks nice. An important step is to set the countdown timing to six seconds so that when the correct answer appears, the countdown will be at zero. To do this, drag the countdown timing to six seconds in the editing bar. I will explain how this works in a moment. This is how it should look like. It's time to create the correct answer section. To do that, create a shape by clicking C, open the shape menu and choose this shape. Now, scale the shape to match the size of the boxes we created earlier. To do that, just drag the white dots on the sides to adjust it. Just copy the size I'm using and you will be good to go. Now, add black borders to the box and set the border thickness to 30. Then, open the color picker and set the box color to green. Next, add a text heading again. Type in the correct answer and apply the same font, borders, and colors as before. Set the text size to 80. Essentially, make the text identical to what we did for the other texts. Once you're done, pay close attention. Make sure to extend the text borders fully to the sides of the box, just like we did before. Now drag both the border and the text up. Carefully select only the correct answer border and the text. Once selected, click Group. A new section will appear in the editing bar. Click on the group you just created and set its length to two seconds. This ensures the answer appears only in the last two seconds of the video. Now, drag the correct answer box back to its original position, and you're done. Let's add animations now. First, select the flag and open the animation menu. For the flag, I'll use the fade animation. Scroll down to find the wiggle animation and apply it as well. Just make sure to set the intensity to the lowest setting. Now, I'll make the flag smaller and do the same for the countdown so everything looks nice. For the countdown, I will use the flicker animation as it matches perfectly. The countdown seems a bit off, so I'll position it to the side to make it look cleaner. Now it's perfect. Let's animate the answers. Select the answer group you created and open the animation menu. Apply the tumble animation and also select the wiggle animation, setting the intensity to its lowest setting. As for the question, we will select it and use the pop animation for it. This is how the end will look like without any music or sound effects. I'll speed it up for you so we don't waste any time. The video looks great. Now, let me reveal the key secret that will help us create 100 videos like this in no time. Open the apps menu on the left side and search for bulk create. Open bulk create and click enter data manually. Now go back to chat GPT and copy everything from the question to the end. Just follow what I'm doing. Once you've done that, return to Canva and paste everything you copied into the data section. Make sure everything is correct, as even ChatGPT can make mistakes sometimes. If everything is correct, click done. Now follow what I'm doing. Click on the question text and select connect data. Then click the section where it says question and the data will be connected. I'll do the same for all of them. Just copy what I'm doing. Connect answer A with data A, answer B with data B and so on. You get the point. Finally, click on the correct answer and connect it with the correct answer data. Then, place the correct answer back to its original position and you're done. Click continue and ensure everything is selected. If it is, click generate. And just like that, we've created multiple videos that we can use for our channel.
Now, some of the videos might have an overlapped text, like this one. To fix it, simply scale down the text, and that's it. Additionally, you can customize the question video for each one. Let me show you how. For example, this video is about the largest desert in the world, so open the Elements menu and search for Desert. Find a video you like, then delete the original video, and replace it with the one you've chosen. Now simply crop the video to make it 8 seconds long and you're done. To export the videos, click on the Share button, ensure everything is selected, and then click Download. And just like that, we've created over 50 videos. You can use them as is with music from the YouTube library, or stick around for a few more minutes, and I'll show you how to take these videos to the next level, plus a few secret tricks for monetization. To make the videos more professional, we'll use CapCut. First of all, import the video you want to edit. Drag the video down into the editing bar. We'll start with sound effects. Open the audio menu, click on sound effects, and search for a clock sound. Let's see how this one sounds. Perfect. Let's drag it down into the editing bar. Make sure to keep the sound until the timer reaches zero. Once it does, simply cut the sound effect and delete the section on the right. Now let's search for a ding sound effect. This one is great. Do the same, drag it down, and make sure to place it when the correct answer appears. And look at this. Next, you can download any swoosh sound effect and add it to the beginning of the video. This is how it will sound like. We're missing the music, so let's add it. Open the audio menu, and in the music section, you'll find hundreds of free tracks. I will use this one. Now drag the music down, cut the silent part at the beginning, and then cut it at the end to match the video length. The music is too loud, so let's lower the volume. Click on the track, and using the tool on the right, set the volume to negative 13. Now let's add a fade out to the video. Click on the video in the editing bar, select animation, and choose fade out. And this is how the end result looks like. Bonus tip, if you want to create a one minute video for TikTok, keep watching. Since our videos are eight seconds long, you'll need to import eight videos. I'm showing an example with two videos, but the process is the same. Drag the second video down into the editing bar. Now, delete the fade out animation on the first video and extend the music to match the length. Copy the same sound effects used in the first video and apply them to all the videos you've added. Now open the transitions menu and find the one that says mix. Next, drag it down between the two videos. And let's see how it looks like. Once you're done, to export the video, click the export button in the right corner. Set the settings to 1080p and 60fps, and then click export. And with that, we can bring this video to an end. You can copy this method and use it as many times as you want. The opportunities are endless. Now, it's up to you to upload three to five videos each day. Remember to be consistent until you see results. Keep pushing and I'll see you in the next one.